Speaking of Lucas films, though, um, Caboose, you mentioned that they don't like to take any risk, and apparently they they're still going with their same old IPs. Steve, I feel like they're working on something else in video games. They did, and just adding on to this whole week of Lucasfilm news, uh, yeah, it was announced that Bethesda and Machine Games they're working on a Indiana Jones game. Uh, they announced it through like a short teaser on Twitter, uh, just a short video pans over some books, some objects, maps, and then off the course it ends with the iconic Indiana Jones theme song, and then the equally iconic uh, hat and whip. Um, yeah, there's not much really to be said about what the game is. It's probably very, very far away. I mean, even they said that, uh, it'll quote, it will be some time before we have more to reveal. Um, and that it will be, quote, like an original story. Uh, Bethesda Game Studios' Todd Howard said that he's going to be on hand, uh, hands-on with the, this game as the executive producer, which is kind of exciting because That's great. people know uh, he's just more along the lines of working on Fallout and Elder Scrolls. So to see him kind of step in is... Just, you know, reassuring. Uh, but yeah, the, it's kind of unexpected because we haven't seen an Indiana Jones game since 2009's Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. And then, of course, like the Lego. I was like, games. when was the last Lego game? I feel like we always see an Indiana Jones. Yeah, which, which released around the same time. And I, I didn't mean, even know there was another game. <laughs> <laughs> that the Lego game was the only one. <laughs> no, th there were quite a few, like going back to like the 90s and early 2000s, but 2009 was the last one. It was weird because it originally came out on like PS2 and Wii, I think. So we've gone through like two solid console generations without seeing indie there. Um, I think it's really interesting that they've approached uh, Machine Games, who, you know, people know as like the studio behind Wolfenstein. You know, just keeping on their brand of being able to give players an excuse to punch out Nazis and mm. yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm very <laughs> curious. I'm very curious to see like whether or not this stays as like a first person shooter or if this is going to be like some sort of Uncharted or Tomb Raider inspired game, because obviously those two franchises were clearly inspired by Indiana Jones. So to see what they do with it, kind of interesting. So it's Are you funny. guys excited? Like, do you guys want an Indiana Jones game? Is that something well, you've been hungry for? For me, I've never really got into Indiana Jones. Um, yeah. I, I watch the movies. They're they're great. I love Harrison Ford, but it's just those movies. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. They're okay. Like, I think they were just a little bit past my time, so I don't appreciate it as much. Um, and then Shia LaBeouf came, and I still didn't appreciate it. So... <laughs> I don't, I'm not hopeful for the, these games. I'm not looking forward to them, especially mm -hmm. because I feel like maybe they saw the opportunity now that Uncharted is done to kind of right. fill that gap. But I don't want it to look anything like Uncharted. I think they would have to go another direction. Right. Um, but how do you do that creatively when Uncharted was so heavily based on Indiana Jones? Yeah. Sure. I, I don't know. And this is gonna, we're thinking this is going to be third person, right? You, you have to imagine. I mean, yeah. you can't hide Indiana Jones behind the camera. You can't, like, that's that's kind of wasting the IP, yeah. right, at that point? Right. You don't see him? I don't know. The, I, I guess it's just the it's just that it's, like, Bethesda behind it that, yeah. I don't know, I'm not necessarily worried. I, I understand that they, they've made some good games. Um, but I think it's just that, like, Bethesda games aren't really for me. They're, they haven't <laughs> They haven't really been my cup of tea ever. Um, Have you maybe this Doom or anything like that. Like, Doom? like, yeah, I've played Skyrim. Wait, sorry, you said, um, Doom. like, I Doom? feel like Doom may be your, like, may you yeah. may have enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, Doom, Doom is probably the only exception. I haven't, okay. like, played through the entirety of Doom, but when I have played Doom, I've enjoyed it. It's a, that's mm -hmm. a good game. I'll give you that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, you know, when you look at something like, like, their, their Skyrims or their Oblivion games or, or their Fallout games and stuff like that, none of that really works for me. I know it's, it's, it's not that, like, studio, but, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not necessarily like overjoyed, but it's cool that something like this is happening. It's been an eventful week yeah. of gaming news. <laughs> like we got a new Star Wars game coming. Lucasfilms is reaching out to Bethesda for an Indiana Jones game. So like at the at the least, um, I'm sure a lot of people who are Indiana Jones fans are very excited. Um, and hopefully it is like a third person sort of action adventure, kind of like an Uncharted type game, yeah. because I mean, the Uncharted games, yeah, like you guys said, they were inspired by something like Indiana Jones. So if you're going to if you're going to make a game about the actual guy, 
you know, make it uh, inspired by the Uncharted games. <laughs> yeah. Or, or maybe they do a Wolfenstein. <laughs> and it's just, uh, well, it, it's, yeah. just it's going yeah. through, killing some Nazis, like uh, Steve mentioned. Yeah. Uh, Brock, what about you? How do you feel about this news? Oh, I could care less about this. Game. I like Bethesda, but like I like so int- I really don't care. Other than like, great, I get to punch some Nazis. That'll be fun. Uh, but otherwise, like, I don't know. Like, I really have no attachment to Indiana Jones. I hope there's a mini, like a level where you get to swing on branches with monkeys. Um, otherwise, <laughs> nothing, nothing really to look forward to. With monkeys, not his whip. What? No, no, no. Remember that great scene with Shia LaBeouf swinging through the jungle on the with the monkeys? Oh, yeah. no. I forgot about that. So okay, it was a uh, it, it was a series low. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like. It. Yes, it was. A, you know that that movie knew um, Shia LaBeouf was the low when Shia LaBeouf went to go pick up the hat, and Indy was like, "Nah, kid." <laughs> even the even the, the movie itself was like, "Wait, we are not doing this." <laughs> No, no. Oh my um, God. Do we think, okay, because so much is ingrained in who uh, Indiana Jones is with Harrison Ford. Right. Do we think he makes an appearance? No. As a cameo? Do we think Absolutely he's going to? No. no. Absolutely not. He'll be dead by then. So no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be, it'll be Nolan North. Like who else do they, who else yes. do they use in video yeah. games? Yeah. Troy yeah. Baker. <laughs> it'll be Troy Baker yeah, or yeah, Troy Nolan Baker. North. Yeah. I can't wait. Or he'll oh, be the enemy. God. One of them will. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. There's only two voices. Brock in the is video not game, okay? holding it back today. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if, you, if we get Brock on the podcast, you know that it's going to be unfiltered. He's not going to have any <laughs> censor. And that's why we love him. That's why we I have think, him. I think my favorite yeah, part about all this. Yet. I think my favorite part about all this is this topic is about like Sackboy Adventures, like this wholesome <laughs> most wholesome topic that could exist. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually about Sackboy definitely has sex, okay? That's my fear. Oh, oh, no. All right. Before we get, we'll get way we'll get out there. of hand, um, and before we get to Sackboy, I do want to talk more about this indie game. Because okay. do, okay, what Bethesda properties would be really good mix up with Indiana Jones? Because I can't think of any. Me neither. <laughs> no, me neither. And and that's kind of why I'm really curious. Again, I don't really have an attachment to Indiana Jones. I'm I'm whatever about this whole news. But I think it's really interesting to kind of identify like what kind of game this will be because we've seen studios kind of approach or have a background in first person shooters and then switch over to third person, kind of like uh, Horizon and, and Guerrilla Studios or um, Respawn with Titanfall and. Jedi Fallen Order. I, I think there is a possibility that it will be a third-person game, but it just doesn't really go with what Bethesda's catalog is. So it's kind of just really weird that they would approach Machine Games with this. Mm. What has a uh, what is Machine I think third games? person of Bethesda it does not go hand in hand. Yeah. No. yeah, that's that's what that's what I was originally thinking about this announcement is just that like I don't like I don't remember there ever being. A third person Bethesda game, as far as I know. I mean, unless I guess, do you count? You could what is, follow in Skyrim, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, unless you count the ability to switch the camera view, but even then, like, you know, nobody plays those games exactly. in third person, yeah. nor do they work as well, yeah, in third person. Um, well, when you think of so. machine, oh, so I was just looking it up because I know you were asking the question. So, machine games, they're they're the Wolfenstein crew, okay, um, okay, okay, exclusively, so they've done, yeah, yeah, they've done all the Wolfensteins. Other than that, though, that's yeah, it. so they they're <laughs> definitely in the wheelhouse <laughs> of of stories involving beating up Nazis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, so from that right, perspective, yeah, it makes sense. To beat up Nazis. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly. So I don't, this could potentially end up being the most different uh, Bethesda game that we see, hopefully. Right. Um, but I don't know, and, like. I don't know, they said that it's going to be third person, or they are didn't we... say. They didn't say. Because what if it isn't? Because Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones are just so tightly meshed. Maybe they don't show Indy's face. Maybe it isn't. They're, first doing person. New... they're doing a new movie where I assume he's going to pass the baton to someone else. So that might have something to do with this too, right? If they want to sure. tie it in, oh, yeah. So the who younger Indy? 
Who would be the younger Indy? I don't know if there's rumors out there. Obviously, I don't follow Indiana Jones news, but um, who would you guys cast as the next Indy? Because Tom Holland comes to mind, but he's already, um, you know, in Uncharted. He's Nathan Drake, so. Adam Driver. <laughs> he, can be, he can be Harrison Ford's son again. <laughs> or just screw it. They already they already did their uh, their Harrison yeah, Ford lookalike. Them. I was going to say, all in air rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That went Adam, well for him. Yeah, Adam Driver, he just kills him, and then he takes the hat. And now he's Indy. Um, yeah. That's how the story writes itself right mm-hmm. there. This is like, how did you guys get too much? I know last week, Caboose, you were talking about my craziness. Brock, back, back Brock back. brings a, a chaotic energy to the show. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so, uh, Steve, do you have a pick for uh, that actor? Or We're on the know? same page. Me yeah, I was going to say Alden Aaron Rich or Reich. Um, Ehrenreich, yeah, yeah, oh, Ehrenreich. That? He played young Han Solo in Solo. Oh, see, that's what I did not watch. That's the one Star Wars movie I didn't watch. I really wanted to because I'm um, childish game, you know. Um, sure. But I heard really bad things about it, and I was like, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of Star Wars content I've been taking in. I, I'm not going to watch that. But I do have Disney, Disney Plus, so maybe I will. Um, maybe. Okay, hear me out. Tinfoil hats coming on. Okay. Uh oh. Maybe. Okay. Lucas Films Games. They're now introducing us to an alternate reality where Indy finds an artifact that was the map of the Death Star. Hear me out. Okay. It's some time. Checked out. Yeah, <laughs> it seems I'm like out. no. Okay. Maybe they <laughs> collapse somehow. I mean, if, if there's, <laughs> maybe we could get that. No. No one's on. No, okay, Brock. Not even you. You don't have me on this one. So, I'm not on board. I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm just saying, a lot of my theories have um, pretty much no roots, um, but I still go there. I've heard Brock <laughs> say that he wants Thanos to have the Thanos copter in Avengers: Infinity War when we were speculating about that <laughs> film, and that was less of an outlandish theory than. Indiana Jones connecting to Star Wars, Camille. <laughs> Listen, I just want any Lucasfilm game. I just want like Gorgu to appear, like just once. Maybe you play as him. If that's an indie, I'm happy. If that's in Star Wars, I'm happy too. It'd be cooler in indie though. What if he's like this? What, indie- what if he like? Had uh, to yeah, Baby Yoda him? killing Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, you just that's like, pretty bad. Wait. You might be on to something. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not. Ooh, Nathan Fillion. As Baby Yoda. No. As- <laughs> <laughs> or as Baby Yoda. Either or. But I think maybe because he didn't get the um, Uncharted gig. So maybe uh-huh. he's indie. Consolation okay, he's prize. He's like 50 something. I know. But I it know. Be the voice, right? But I feel like the the game will go in yeah. the route of a new indie. Like unless the movie comes out before then, I I don't think we're gonna see a new indie. I think it's gonna be the old indie. Yeah. Um. I I think while we're on the topic of the spe- speculation, I think there's also something worth mentioning. Is like this announcement came out just before the acquisition finalized between Cinemax and Microsoft. So. Do we think this is going to be an exclusive? Do you think that it was announced so early because they wanted to kind of set expectations that it won't be? What do you guys think? I think this is still really a niche game. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I know Indiana Jones is like a household name, but like really, to, not to young kids at all. I think you need to be on every platform. And yeah. This is definitely not a system seller for sure. Well, I think maybe this could be Microsoft trying to build up those IPs, right? Right. Like if they make this exclusive now, like no one knew what Uncharted was. Um, But if you make this exclusive now to an audience that maybe doesn't know what Indiana Jones is, but may know what Indiana Jones is after the movie comes out, if they have an A-list actor, that IP for Microsoft could mean big money. That could technically, if the movie is really good, 
or how they go with that franchise could sell consoles. Right? And I think mm -hmm. that's something that Microsoft is well aware of and that they're building up. I agree with yeah. that because it's a licensed product though. It might, they're not going to be making that much money off it if it is an exclusive. That's I, fair. I, I, I could see, I could see it both ways is the yeah. thing. Like I could mm -hmm. see why Microsoft would want it to be an exclusive. I could see how it wouldn't be. Um, because if it's just like a straight up, like Xbox game studios game and it was available on all platforms, like I think Microsoft still profits in some way. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I could see it both ways. Yeah, like I'm totally on board with Brock. What he's saying, like, it is still a very niche thing because it doesn't have that that wide net uh, to capture a whole bunch of people, especially younger people. But again, I, I always come back to this thing that Microsoft spent a, more than a billion dollars on this acquisition. At some point, they're going to have to start saying, "Okay, where's our return on this?" And yeah, is it going to be Indiana Jones? I don't really know. I mean, I don't know where they start drawing that line. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to think about. Yeah, definitely. And I don't think we'll really get a sense of that until we get an idea of when this game's coming out. Like right. when you could put it towards the movie and what other things that franchise Indiana Jones is doing mm -hmm. um, outside of gaming. I think that's when we'll get a sense of like, okay, they're going to make this exclusive or they're not going to make this exclusive. Right. Um, or maybe it's not exclusive for the first one, but for follow-ups it is, right? It'll awesome, be interesting yeah. It'll be interesting to see, but enough of our craziness for now. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back with more tinfoil uh, theories. So stay okay. tuned. 